Well, I think one of the key roles of the Ombudsman is to empower citizenry and to make sure that citizenship really means something. It isn't just a word in, on, on, on a treaty. Um, and one of the ways I've done this recently was my investigation into the ECI, the European Citizens Initiative. And this emerged out of one of the treaties and it means that if one million European citizens across seven member states gather a million signatures and they can put a proposal to the Commission to consider. Um, so there were a few complaints in relation to this, in relation to um, uh, essentially how the Commission should properly respond to this. And when I looked at that I made a series of recommendations to the Commission. Um, and the basic point I was making that if one million citizens sign up for a particular proposal, I'm not saying to the Commission you have to accept it, of course they don't, that's in the political domain and none of my business, but what they have to be seen to be doing is respond to those one million citizens. They have to be seen to be taken seriously, they have to be seen to be um, talking to them with them, consulting on it, uh, on it with them and with other actors. And so if at the end of the day they choose not to go ahead with that proposal, at least they can't be accused of not having really engaged with the citizens in relation to it. So that's one way in which um, uh, I'm, I'm helping citizens to, to engage in that way. And of course a lot of that work is, is done through social media and through using digital technologies. And a lot of groups that have taken the trouble to get one million signatures have been enabled to do that, of course, because of, of digital technologies. And in my own work, I mean, I'm increasingly using Twitter as the main way of, of, uh, of, of communicating. That's hardly new, but we're getting away from the old kind of press release and, and all of that. We're having to work faster. We're having to communicate in a much more direct way with people. Very often we find out about a complaint because the complainant has tweeted that they're going to send a complaint before they actually tell us, which is absolutely fine. Keeps us on our toes. Uh, but equally, when we send back um, you know, records or documents or when we communicate with the with the commission or or with the complainant equally you find that out on social media as well you know so it makes you become more alert i think more dynamic uh, more interactive and i think much more citizen and complainant friendly